ברכות, סיקס צ'פטר, סיקס, פורט משנה. משנה זו באה ללמד דין קדימה בברכות הנהנים. This משנה comes to teach us which blessing should we say first when we come to make the blessings on the food. היו לפניו מינים רבים, if many kinds of food were in front of the person, מי שהגיעו שלפניו הרבה מיני מאכלים, somebody who has in front of him all kinds of foods, והוא רוצה לאכול מכולם, and he wants to eat a little bit from everyone. איזה מהם מוקדם לברכה? Which one should he say first? Which blessing should he say first? רבי יהודה אומר, רבי יהודה states, אם יש ביניהם ממין שבעה. If there is any one of the seven kinds, which we're going to mention soon what they are, amongst them, אחד משבעת המינים, one of the seven species, שנשתבחה באמרת ישראל, that the, the land of Israel is known for, and what are those seven species? והם חיטה, wheat, שעורה, ברלי, גפן, um, grapes, תאנה, figs, רימון, pomegranate, זיתים ותמרים, olives and dates. So any one of these seven kinds, מברך עליו, then he is, that comes first before other foods. ששבעת המנים שנשתבחה בהם מארץ ישראל, קודמים לברכה, because these seven kinds that the land of Israel was um, blessed with, this specific uh, produce, you make, you need, one needs to make the blessing first. ואם יש לפניו אחדים משבעת המנים, what happens if he's got a few of the seven kinds in front of him? אמרו כלל בגמרא. So the Gemara has a rule about that. There's a verse that mentions the seven kinds, and if you know the verse, you can figure it out. It says, כל המוקדם בפסוק זה, it says, whichever comes first in this first, in this verse should come first. What's the verse? The verse is, ארץ חיטה ושעורה, it means it's a land of wheat and barley, וגפן ותאנה, and grapes, and vineyard, and figs, ורימון, and pomegranate, ארץ זית שמן, a land of olive oil, ודבש, and honey. And obviously over here we're not talking about beads honey, we're talking about דבש, היינו תמרים, honey that comes out of dates. So, whichever one comes first in this verse is the one who one should say the blessing first. מוקדם לברכה. שהפסוק בא לשבח את ארץ ישראל, because this verse comes to teach us about the greatness of the land of Israel, שיש בה הפירות החשובים האלה, that the land of Israel has these important foods. ומנעם כסדר חשיבותם, and he, the verse counts them the, in the way of their importance, the more important first and the less important last. ועוד אמרו, there are those who says, כל הסמוך לתיבת ארץ השנייה, it says, in that verse we say the word land twice, once in the beginning and once in the middle. So it says, anything that comes next to the, the second Eretz, the land, the, the, the land, the second time the land is mentioned twice, Eretz Zeit Shemel Dwash, when it says, a land of olive oil and dates and honey, it says, that is chashuv yoter, it is more important. Mehameuchar memeno letivat Eretz Rishona. From the one who's first, it says, the first Eretz. The first Eretz talks about wheat and barley. ומכאן סדר חשיבותם, according to this, the way of the important is not the way they are written in the verse, but it's different. What is it? It's first is חיתים, first it, it is wheat, then זיתים, then it's olive, then שעורים, then barley. יש מקדימים שעורים לזיתים, עניין ברכה. There are those who say barley comes before olives when it comes to a blessing. שלעולם ברכת בורא מיני מזונות, קודם לברכת הפירות, או ברכת המוצי, קודם את להכל. So it says, מויצי, המוציא לחם מן הארץ, on wheat, that for sure comes before everything. And there are some said, even מזנס comes before fruits. But there's an opinion that says, no, that dates is before barley. Then it goes to תמרים, dates, which is honey in the end, then ענבים, vineyard, היינו האכול ענבים כמו שהם, we're talking about somebody who eat grapes the way they are, אבל יין שנעשה בנבים, but wine that you make out of grapes, like we mentioned before, הואיל והוא קובע ברכה לעצמו, since it has a blessing by itself because of its importance, then ברכת בורא פרי הגפן. You make a different blessing on it, 
יוסי יונית בורא פרי הגפן, חשובה יותר וקודמת אפילו לסיודים. It is more important than any other one, even, than, um, even to the olives. And then in the end you have תאנים ורימונים, figs and pomegranate. By the way, kiddush, when we make kiddush every Friday night, we can actually make um, hamaytzi before kiddush. So how can we make kiddush before we make hamaytzi? This is the reason why we cover the bread every Friday night, that the bread, the bread is not there, therefore we can do hamaytzi, we can do borepi agafen before we do hamaytzi. Otherwise, if the bread will be uncovered, we will have to make the blessing on the bread before we do the, the blessing on the wine. Chachamim umrim, this is according to Rabbi Yehuda. What do the sages say? The sages says, Mevarech al eze mem shirtze. He can make a blessing on whichever one he wants. Lechol tchila, whichever one he wants to eat first, that's what he makes the blessing on. Klomar, ma shechaviv alav yoter, whatever his, fa- his favorite, mikol amini umunuchin fanav, from all the kinds that are laying in front of him, makdilo mebracha. It says, that's the one you make the blessing on. Bagmara muvaot shtei dirot. The Gemara understands this in two manners. Echad sover shelo avrel kura biyuda b'chachamim. One says that the disagreement between Rabbi Yehuda and the sages, el b'minim shebirkotem shavot. The disagreement is only in kinds that they have the same blessing. Kegon, for example, let's take an example. Tmarim v'tapuchim. A person has a date and an apple. Both of them are Borei Priyayets. Which one should he say the blessing on? On the dates or on the apples? Shnehem Birkatam Borei Priyayets. Both of them have the same blessing, which is Borei Priyayets, created the fruit of the tree. Uba lifto shnehem brachachat. But he's only going to make one blessing. So it says, Sherabi Yehuda, so where Rabbi Yehuda thinks, Min Shiva Adif. It says, if it's, you have the seven kinds, you should make the blessing on the dates. ומברך על התמרים ופותר את התפוחים and then he bless the, the blessing on the dates and he doesn't even need to, to make the blessing on the apples וחכמים סוברים, חכמים סוברים לא ג'סר סרלי מין חביב עדיף, it says if he likes apples more than dates he should make the blessing on the apples כלומר שמברך על מה שהוא חביב עליו ורוצה בו יותר that he makes the blessing on whatever he wants more אבל בנינים שאין ברכתו הם שוות, but in things, in types that they, not, they don't have the same blessing, דברי הכל מברך על זה וחוזר ומברך על זה. Everybody agrees that he makes the two blessings. ושלושה פירושים לכך. And over here we have three explanations. What's the explanation? Number one, שמברך על איזה שירצה תחילה. First explanation is, he makes a blessing on whichever one he wants first. In other words, the one is his favorite, that's what he makes the blessing first. So he, he can make the, for example, before the barley, he can make the dates. The second exp- explanation is that he makes the blessing on the one that is his favorite. If, his, if barley happened to be more favorite than dates, then he would do it on the barley. And the third one, the third one, the third one, the third one, the And the third opinion that he's going to make the blessing on the fruit that is from the seven kinds. Ve'yesh sover, and there's another opinion, she'af be'en birkotehem shavot, even in a case where they don't have the same blessing, nechleku Rabbi Yehuda v'chachamim al eze imkod mi'varech. Even in that case, Rabbi Yehuda and the sages still have a disagreement on which one should he make first, which blessing should he make first. Al min shiva wa lachaviv, on the one that is the, of the seven species, or on the one who that is favorite. So what's the Rambam? Let's see what the Rambam holds. The Rambam Pasek. Im ayu birkotem shavot, if they were both, let's say, bore priyayets, they were the same blessing, mevarech al echad mehem u poter et ashar. He makes blessing only on one, and all the rest he doesn't need to make a blessing. Vim en birkotem shavot, but if the blessing is different, for example, one is mezonot, another is aets, מברך על כל אחד מהם ברכה ראויה לו, he makes a blessing on each and every one of them. ואיזה מהם שהיא רוצה להקדים, but he can do whichever one first. He doesn't, he's not forced to do one over the other. ואם אינו רוצה בזה יותר מזה, and if it's, he doesn't care which one it is, אם יש בהם אחד משבעת המינים, if there is one of the seven kinds amongst them, עליו הוא מברך תחילה. On it, it makes the blessing first. וכל הקודם בפסוק, קודם בברכה. And the code is going like Rashi, whatever is first in the famous verse that we learned before, 
If it's first in the verse, then the blessing for it is first. The Yospers scheme, there are those who hold, Sheim Birkotehem Shavot, that if they are the same blessing, Vyesh Benehem Mimin Shiva, and they have one of the seven species, Makdim Min Shiva, you should always have the seven species, not go according to the favorite. Vim Ein Benehem Mimin Shiva, and if he doesn't have one of the seven species, Makdim Achaviv, then he can eat whichever one is favorite. Vim Ein Birkotehem Shavot, but if the blessings are not the same, which means one is mezenes and the other one is a haetz, for example, he can do whichever one first. So many, many opinions over here. We practically, once we do, um, we usually go with wheat and then barley and then the rest.